Good morning, it's Tuesday, March the 31st, and you're watching Agoracom Small Cap News TV. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Agoracom TV is a daily, fast-paced, edgy show, bringing you the best press releases at the open, along with the halts so that you can hopefully profit from them and potentially find your next great small cap investment. As always, I've got a great show lined up for you this morning. I've got five great press releases, two from the Canadian side, three from the U.S. side, and five halts to report on in the second segment of our show. So without any further ado, let's get down to business. Our lead story comes from a company called Ontex Resources Limited. They trade on the TSX under the symbol ONT. Disclaimer time, they are an Agoracom client. However, as always, the news is worthy of your attention. The company is announcing a 23% increase in their Brookbank Gold resource, which is an NI43101 mineral resource estimate, which was received on the Brookbank Gold deposit and property. I've got highlights from the press release, which announced that the three recent diamond drilling programs comprising 35 drill holes totaling 10,500 meters has increased the total gold mineral inventory by 23% over the equivalent 2006 resource estimate. Now, the Brookbank Gold Deposit property had a total gold resource at a two gram per ton cutoff of approximately 432,000 ounces in the indicated category and 421,000 ounces of gold in the inferred category. So it looks like we've got a total of 853 ounces on the, gold, on the Brookbank Gold property. Now, a little bit about Ontex. They're a junior resource company focused on gold exploration at its Brookbank Gold property in northern Ontario, spanning a strike length of 35 kilometers. To date, diamond drilling has identified a structure of over 7 kilometers with mineralized zones extending from surface to a depth of at least 600 meters. Companies lost at 21 cents, 52-week high of 56 cents, low of 12 cents, and a market cap of approximately $22 million. Moving on to Anglo-Swiss Resources, they trade on the venture under the symbol ASW, on the OTCBB under the symbol ASWRF, and for our European friends on the Berlin under the symbol AMO. Disclaimer time once again, Anglo-Swiss is an Agoracom client. The company announced a 43101 compliant technical report that states in excess of 16.5 million tons of valuable surface sand and gravel has been identified on a portion of the company's 100% owned Kenville Gold Mine property located near Nelson in southeastern British Columbia. Now, the measured resource is of a high quality sand and gravel, which will be processed into aggregate product for industrial and commercial uses, which sells uh, from the company's experience in 2008. They sold the aggregate product between 15 to $18 per ton. Uh, in addition, we've got a quote here from the president, Len Denard, who states, we are extremely pleased to have the measured resource of the aggregate potential confirmed as it overlays our gold exploration area. This resource with the anticipated gold revenue is expected to provide a significant cash flow to the company. So the great news here is the company is a gold explorer. However, in the interim, they can generate cash flow from the high quality sand and gravel on their property. A little bit about Anglo-Swiss, their mineral exploration company focused on actively exploring and developing its advanced stage Kenville Gold property, which is located in southeastern BC. Companies last at 15 cents, high of 32, low of six and a half cents and a market cap of approximately $16.5 million. Now, moving over to the U.S. side, three great press releases. Our first one is China Energy Recovery, which trades on the bulletin board under the symbol CGYV. They're announcing record full-year financial results for the year 2008. They are a leader in the waste, heat, energy recovery sector of the industrial energy efficiency industry. And I've got highlights from their press release for 2008, which include revenue for 2008 increased by 96% to $23 million, up from $12 million in 07. Gross profit increased to $5 million, which is a 138% increase, up from $2.1 million, uh, million in 07. And finally, the important number net income for 2008 was $1.1 million, which is an increase of 73% from $640,000 in 07. i have also got a footnote here that without the, the non-cash expenses of $720,000, net income would have been $1.83 million, which is an increase of 185% over that of 2007. A little bit about China Energy Recovery. They're an international leader in designing, manufacturing, and installing waste heat energy recovery systems, 
which provide facilities with greater energy efficiency. The company's primary focus is on the Chinese market. They're last at $1.70. 52-week high of 12.90, low of 82 cents, and the market cap of approximately 50 million dollars. Moving on to Sky People Fruit Juice, they trade on the bulletin board under the symbol SPFJ. Once again, I've got revenues or I've got uh, financials coming from this company. They reported the full year 08 revenues, and I've got highlights coming from the company, which include revenue increased to uh, by 42 percent to 41.6 million, compared to 30 million for the prior year. Gross profit margins increased by 16.7 to 43.3 in fiscal 08, so that's a significant increase, uh, compared to gross profit margins of 37% for fiscal 07. Operating income increased 44% to 13.1 million compared to 9 million in 07. And finally, net income increased 32% to $10 million compared to 7.6 in 07. Uh, a little bit about the company. Sky People's main products are concentrated apple, kiwi fruit, pear, and other fruit juices for domestic and international consumers. Companies last at 275, high of 625, low of $1.20, and mark cap of approximately $60 million. Moving on to China Auto Logistics, they trade on the bulletin board under the symbol CALG. The company has announced that it has achieved record results in sales and net income for the year ended December 31st, 08. In 2008, we've got full year increase in revenues to $190 million, which is up 25% over the comparable uh, period last year of $152 million. We've also got 2008 net income, which increased by 25% to $4 million, compared with $3.1 million last year. And finally, the company reported that sales of imported automobiles in 2008 reached $186 million and contributed 98% of total revenue during the year. A little bit about the company, they were founded in 95 with profitable sales in 2008 of approximately $190 million. The company has grown to become one of the top importers and sellers of luxury vehicles in China. They lasted 356 high of 443, low of 248, and the market cap of approximately $27 million. And I've got some halts to report on now. Uh, first halt is Flagship Industries. They trade on the venture under the symbol FII. They've been halted pending news. I've got CPVC. They trade uh, on the venture under the symbol BBB.P. The company's uh, requested the halt pending news. Nortech Ventures on the venture under the symbol NVT. They've been halted pending news. CPVC Financial on the venture under the symbol LHB. They've been halted pending news. And finally, Target Exploration and Mining Corp on the venture under the symbol TEM. They've been halted pending news. That's a wrap for today's show. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Make sure to tune in again tomorrow. We've got more great press releases and halts at the open for you.